guys. What's up? Okay. So. Today we're going to be starting a little like mini baking series things that I'm going to be doing for Vlogmas. So every Monday I'm going to be posting a baking video and today we're going to be making Rudolph peanut butter cookies. You'll need a half a cup peanut butter, half a cup butter, a half a cup of sugar, half a cup brown sugar, one teaspoon vanilla, one egg, one and three thirds cup flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, M&M's, mini chocolate chips, and pretzels. So now that my oven is preheating, I'm gonna add the peanut butter. And when you have the peanut butter or something sticky like this, you're gonna to wanna to just like get as much out as you possibly can. Then I'm gonna add my butter and my sugars. And I'm gonna add those until they are creamed together. So after that looks smooth, I'm gonna quickly scrape the sides of the bowl to make sure that any excess butter, peanut butter, sugar that didn't get mixed in is gonna get mixed in. Then I'm gonna add my egg and my vanilla, and I'm gonna beat those together until they are smooth. So now that that mixture is all smooth, we're gonna move over for this next step into a separate bowl. We're gonna put the flour, the baking soda, and the salt in a separate bowl. And we're gonna whisk that together before we combine it with our wet ingredients. So now I'm going to slowly add my dry ingredients into my wet ingredients. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of my flour mixture in, and then I'm going to turn this back on. And when you're mixing, you want to not, you don't want to have it on super high speed. That way, if your flour just decides to go up all over, you don't get all over your face. So now that that is incorporated a little bit more, I'm going to turn it back off. I'm going to add a little bit more of a mixture. And then I'm going to repeat the same process until I have no more of my mixture. And then you're going to want to make sure that all the flour and stuff is combined. And you can make sure that that is all done by using a rubber spatula to scrape the bottoms. So once you've mixed your wet and your dry ingredients, we're actually gonna be rolling our dough into half an inch to three fourths of an inch um, dough balls. So you're gonna kind of just take some dough like that, get a little bit bigger than that. Roll it in your hands. If you don't wanna to touch the dough with your bare hands, you always can use gloves. And then you're just gonna put them on a cookie sheet. And I'm gonna do that until I don't have any dough left. two pans of rolled out peanut butter cookies. Um, I had about 23, but most of the time you probably can have 24. Um, but it all, honestly will just depend on the size that you guys rolled out your dough. So as you guys can tell, I have a little thing of sugar and my sugar container. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna sprinkle some sugar on all of your cookies. I put some sugar in a separate container because I don't wanna contaminate or put like raw egg in my flour container. It's just a sanitary thing. So I'm gonna do that. And then once you're done with that, I'm gonna show you guys what you're gonna do next. So now that I have my cookies covered in sugar, I'm going to make an indent in them. So just like this, I'm just gonna put my thumb and gently make a little indent so there's a little hole. And I'm gonna do that with the rest of those and then we're gonna be ready to put them in the oven. So now that that is done, I'm going to go put these in the oven and I will see you guys in 12 to 14 minutes. So my cookies took about 16 minutes to bake because they're a little bit on the bigger side. Um, while they were baking in the oven, I actually took um, a knife and I cut my pretzels in half to make little antlers and then I spread my, I opened my packages of M&M's and chocolate chips. So I'm just gonna put two little chocolate chips on one of these for the eyes. I'm gonna take a certain color M&M for the nose. I'm gonna take two pretzels and I'm gonna make the antlers and then you got your Rudolph cookies. So once you've completed all those steps, you officially have your Rudolph peanut butter cookies. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment on future video ideas. If you guys want to get notified whenever 
Whenever I upload a video, which will be every day this month, make sure you guys hit the bell next to the subscribe button. I can speak English. Um, but yeah, I will be doing baking videos every Monday for Vlogmas, so make sure you guys tune in next week if you guys want to see another baking video. I love you guys so much, and I hope you guys have a great Monday, and I will see you guys tomorrow for another Vlogmas video. Bye, guys!